from Al Qahira News. Here's what's happening around the world. Escalation on the Lebanese border threatens to set the region on fire. A new disease is spreading in the Gaza Strip, and a major crisis in France's trains coinciding with the Olympics. Urgent moves and ongoing discussions by the Israeli occupation to make a decision on how to respond to Hezbollah after the occupation accused it of carrying out an attack on Majd al-Shams. Many airlines have suspended their flights to Beirut, fearing the response that the Israeli occupation has threatened Hezbollah with in preparation for a new step of escalation on the Lebanese border. Inside the Gaza Strip, the Palestinian Ministry of Health confirmed that the polio epidemic has spread among the residents of the Strip. It explained that the reason is due to the ongoing aggression by the occupation on the Strip, which has deprived the residents of Gaza of potable water and caused the destruction of the sewage infrastructure and the accumulation of thousands of tons of garbage. Honorable Commissioner General confirmed that 86% is the percentage of areas that were subjected to evacuation and forced displacement orders inside the Gaza Strip since the beginning of the aggression on this trip by the Israeli occupation. And from the escalation in Gaza and the Lebanese border to the Russian-Ukrainian war, the White House National Security spokesman revealed a new security aid package to Ukraine worth 200 million US dollars, including air defense systems and anti-tank weapons. A few hours before the opening ceremony of the Paris 2024 Olympics, France suffered three major attacks on strategic train lines, which paralyzed train traffic before the start of the major sporting event, while the lines returned to normal after hours of sudden disruption. It seems to be a week of train crises. In Russia, a passenger train carrying 800 people collided with a truck, causing eight carriages to derail, resulting in more than 100 injuries among the passengers.